Uh, my name is Anthony Manyara, the president of Kenya University Students Organization, also, also doubling as the president of East African Students Union. With me are uh, leaders from the East African space, um, various leaders from the universities. Today we have come here with a lot of sorrow. We feel very much affected because of losing so many comrades. To be wengi sana kutokana na hii anti-finance bill. Leo peke yake, we have seen that the body, a mutilated body of Sam Kulen Maina, a very young, a very young man, a very young student, 24 year old, alikuwa nasoma pale KCA, and the student, his life was cut short simply because he was fighting for a better country. It's not just him. We have seen the likes of Denzel Omondi, whose body was found dumped uh, in a in a quarry, and it is very unfortunate. As the president, Kenya University Students Organization, what we, what we want to give as a stand is that that spirit, the ruthless, the stubborn, and the undefeated spirit of comradeship, will not stop when fighting for the rights of the hoi polloi, the common person of this country. Therefore, we will tomorrow summon the DCI. Since me personally come a chairman, we DCI. We want to see how these investigations can be done in the correct manner and fastest way possible. And I want to call upon comrades. If you have better ideas in which we can be able to pursue for the justice of these comrades, they didn't die in vain. Their deaths should be able to help us um, walk towards a better country with good economy, with better job opportunities, with also serious spaces for the young people. I want to tell Kenyans, wanafuzi wengi sana wanakufa kutokana na ima andamano. How when you mepatika na tuni milibili tattoos are students, but I'm very sure very many students have died. Ile mili ambayo ilipatika na uko kwa dump site uh, in another quarry, this is an indicator that very many young people are dying on the streets, their bodies are buried, uh, we don't know where. This is why we want to call upon uh, all the comrades in the country. Mkitokea mandamano, do it in groups. Mkienda nyumbani, ensure you are in tandem, you really need to know the person who you were with yesterday. Are you able to locate his whereabouts? Wakati mtu wako peke yake ndi ananaswa, anakuwa abducted, and then anapatikana in such dump sites. So, we want to tell all these students to be extremely careful do serious picketing but try as much as possible not also to target your target your own life by you know by uh, promoting you know aggressiveness in this uh, protest thank you Nema Sheikh Abikadir is the is the vice president for East African Students Union and kwa street suku nasema yeye ndio madam deputy governor pia yeye aseme kitu Thank you very much, members of the 4th Estate. Uh, as you can see, we are here with the Chairman for Students' Union in the country. And as young people, we are devastated. We are disappointed. Our heart is breaking because of uh, the abductions and the killings of young people in this country. Uh, we don't know where the country is heading to. We love our motherland, but things have not been well since the protests have started. Comrades are dying like chicken. Comrades are dying like chicken. During our times, such a thing will not happen, Manyara. I need you to ensure that we, uh, not only the Gen Z's but comrades will come out tomorrow as we head to the DCA headquarters for answers well known to them because they are the ones who are doing the investigations. And we want them to take this seriously because, yeah? These are literate people who are coming out asking for the whereabouts of the young people uh, who have been seen, uh, their, uh, who, who have seen their lifeless body in quarries, dump sites, and etc. For here, Mimi Nataka Nishukuru Sana, Mr. President Hapa, to let Hapa Pomoja and Abiongozi Wengine. Na Yakwamba Kesho, comrades. Kesho na jua ni kuna protest ya Gen Z lakini manyara I think we need to look for a specific date hata eh? kama ni kesho kutwa we march 
to the DCI headquarters. We cannot let uh, the death of these young people and the death of Maina and the death of Comrade Denzel, uh, Denzel and the death of all young people go in vain. It must bear fruits. You understand? So we will make sure that you will know the wrath of comrades and you will know comrades power is next to God's power. Long live the undying spirit of comrades in this country. Long live Asante Okay, I have to add something. Eh? Which, um, from my experience, sometimes these kind of deaths, they're just a catalyst of bigger things to come. When you kill the body, you cannot kill the soul. We feel very bad that certain agencies in government, they are targeting students who are airing out their views gallantly, who, are, who do not fear to fight not just for their interests, but for the interests of Kenyans. I mean, I'm not going to be a leader of these agencies who are going to be a leader. They are going even a hundred. You have not provided an alternative solution to the problem they were fighting for. This is what we have done anti-protest bill. I mean, uh, anti-finance bill. This is the help bandwidth. Uh, the help has been reduced by uh, 10%. That is tuning to around 3.8 billion Kenya shillings. Students are on a better accommodation in the universities. Students, there is high school fees, exorbitant, almost threefold of what was there before. Insecurities. There is a lot of insecurity in, our, in, in these campuses. Mm. Take for instance, University of Rongo, Juzi. They have suspended more than 40 students simply because of doing these kind of demonstrations. Me nataka kusema tu, very easy. Na kuna wakati ambayo nitai support, kituembe iko anti-protest. Hizi protest ambazo zime, zime, zime fanya wanafuzi wakauliwa. Azita wai isha. Simply because hizi vitu wanapigania ni haki zao. Wanapigania nini? School fees reduce, reduciwe. Kibaki when he was president, he was fighting for free education. There was this masterpiece, kind of a, an architectural blueprint, 2030 vision, vision 2030. Even when you look at uh, sustainable development goals, quality education is number four. If you look at agenda African Union Agenda 2063, talks about uh, how you elevate poverty through sustainable, better policies on the education sector. This is why, as KUSO, we want to tell the government: you can never stop. You can never cure diarrhea by stitching the anus. You have to look at the kind of solutions that you bring forward to ensure the education sector can be perfect. You cannot teach a student who is angry and hungry. So, sisi tunataka kusema tu, mandamano itaendelea so long as easy grievances zao wanafuzi ya zifuatilini. Na tunataka kuomba serikali pia, when they are on the streets and these are young people they are pursuing, let them be soft on them. You can use rubber bullets but don't kill anyone. Thank you. So lastly, uh, to add on that, we have, when we were student leaders, back in the university for uh, Kenya University Students Organization mm. we had we had a strong union uh, which was uh, led by our able student leaders and we made sure at a come to my we were not relenting we have enough lawyers to help us at court we have enough evidences to to show that the killings of these people we have enough energy to come out as young people so lastly i want to tell young people in as much as we have the energy to come out and do all this let us not relent and may god give us solomonic wisdom as we do this protest because this protest is an ejaculation whose time has arrived and we shall be on the streets as long as you kill young people viva Really? Uh, that uh, you have to make a data to go ahead to the DCI and protest. Maybe do, will you tell us the dates of Mang and Papanga? So the banner did schedule, but uh, this evening, even the DCI, I mean, knows very well that we have reached out to him, only that we have not established established a, a conversation yet. But tomorrow, we, I will be able, as a chairperson for this organization, I'll be able to proceed to, to his office to seek answers. 
if if uh, things don't turn out the way we want, if they don't expedite these investigations the correct way we want, then we'll have no reason, we'll have no choice than to compel him through mass action, uh, to compel the agency. You remember, it's not a, it, it is a public office, which constitutionally they have the mandate to investigate through the correct way and ensure that answers are given. And remember, justice delayed. Just it's just is denied. denied. Therefore, we'll expect to have answers within uh, the quickest time possible, so that these families, even as they even as they mourn, they can be able to find um, solace in the fact that they have answers as to why their children had to die on the streets. Thank you. Maybe the last one to Nemo. Tomorrow we are expecting our comrades and the Gen Zs on the street. Maybe you can talk to them, you can tell them something that, uh, and some precautions so that tomorrow they can take care of Wasi Umizu. Yeah, so protesting is part of their right you know, and is a constitutional mandate, is a, is a, is a right of every Kenyan. Uh, as long as they are doing it within the confines of the law, uh, I want to tell young people, be careful, uh, a man will only die once, I know, but you have to be extremely careful because we have seen uh, police officers shooting these uh, young, young, young leaders of tomorrow. We have seen them using life bullets, so please be careful. We will be there to provide water, assistance, ambulances or any other help that you will need. But as for me, I want to tell the young people of this nation, Tafadalini, we, let's not reach uh, a situation where our country will go into, for instance, cases of uh, the, the case of Sudan and uh, Somalia and uh, South Sudan and Libya. We don't want such thing to happen in our country. However, even as you go out and protest, ensure that you do it within the confines of the law. And if you want Zakayo to go home, 2027, see on Bali, my friends. very radical to the extent you will get killed on the streets. And to the police officers, hey, we are coming for you. The inspector general has resigned from what we are hearing. Uh, and Prof, who, Prof, Professor Kithuri Kindiki, who was, you know, trying all his best to to ensure things don't go wrong, uh, is no longer in office. Kohivo, police officers, our eyes are on you, and we know you are the ones who have been killing people, okay? So to Fadalini, if anything happens to any young person tomorrow, hey, we are coming for you. My friends, we are not scared of you, we are coming for you. Yeah. Okay.